My name is Alex Bangler. I'm an assistant professor in the landscape architecture department um, here at Penn State. So from my perspective as a teacher and my perspective as a grad student, um, I took, uh, I did a master's in landscape architecture and that was my first design degree. Um, I think that the most important quality um, to have to be successful as a grad student is a sense of perspective. And what I mean by that is to um, just realize and always remind yourself that um, you're here in this program and I would hope any grad program um, to get out of it what, what you want. And um, that, that allows you to choose your focus and really take agency about where, how you prioritize your time. And it's also really good for mental health where um, it's design education is always, tends to be overwhelming, especially when you're just starting. Um, but um, realizing that it's part of a bigger picture and, and you're not gonna master every part of it and that you bring um, things to it that other people don't and that, um, you can balance that with with um, learning these new skills and and really personalize your experience um, and understanding that people welcome that um, that they're excited when you take um, your education in a different direction um, rather than trying to check off every single box and every everything that's thrown at you but i think there's just lots of ways to to be overwhelmed and i think the more that you have that you're able to step back and have that perspective on your education and, and on the fact that landscape architecture can be lots of different things, um, the happier you'll be. And if you feel happy and feel positive, then chances are you're doing something right in your education. I think that we're at a real inflection point where that might change. Um, I mean, I see the the entire pedagogy of a place like Penn State, and there's, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this, um, but the model is that you kind of um, design studios and other classes around this um, framework of of like working in a firm and having a client, and um, you get a project. Um, in our case, you know, we have kind of pretend stakeholders. You make a deliverable. You check in. There's somebody in authority. Um, and so um, our the pedagogy, um, and it's a little bit different. I'm, I'm speaking mostly as someone who teaches undergrads and it's, it's professional, more of a professional rather than a research program. But I think um, there's still, that framework is so dominant, dominant even in research institutions around landscape architecture. Um, again, nothing wrong with that, but I, I'm, I guess, I don't know, but I'm curious to see how that changes as people hopefully make efforts to make the, the field more inclusive and recognize other kinds of non-traditional practice. Yeah, um, I think I said this before, it's, it's not been a, um, and this isn't a bad thing actually, I haven't made a lot of progress on the, the research topics that that I've identified in the past this semester. It's just been such a not so semester. The stuff that I'm just personally interested in um, includes, um, I mean, I like looking at greenways. I like looking at long distance personal mobility networks, recreational trail networks, things like that in, in as tools for, for like actual regional planning in a really serious way. Um, so that's something I'm just interested in. Uh, but uh, more recently, I've been thinking a lot more about um, these issues of inclusion that we've talked about a lot in our department. Um, thinking about um, the kind of different levels of success of different students, um, from students of color to students who uh, first generation college students, and how that matches up or often doesn't match up with our pedagogy seemingly, how we can be really proactive about making sure that um, 
that all of our students are successful and that we kind of meet them the phrase that somebody was using in our department, like meet them where they are and, and recognize what they bring to the program. Um, and again, like think about different um, frameworks for what landscape architecture and design can be besides the one um, that we keep going back to, which is you'll work in a firm, you'll you'll do projects. Um, or, or even for grad students, maybe it's more like, you know, you'll work in an academic institution and and do write papers mm -hmm. um, about firms that have done projects or, or like, so all, all kinds of interesting questions. Like if that's if 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 that's the framework that we're interested in, if it, if it's more of a professional program, or if we already have pretty good criteria for defining success and entering academia or practice, um, then are we doing the best to to bring people into that, um, or do we need to define what our or expand what our definition of success is. It's good to have perspective, um, to think about what you want to get out of your education and to, um, you know, challenge the assignments and the briefs and, and to just put yourself in the shoes of the people you're working with, your instructors, and realize that they are more excited about um, and will probably give you better feedback and be more enthusiastic and, and more excited to engage um, if you're bringing them something that feels genuine um, and that feels you know not like you're entirely being reactive to what they're giving you but, but if you're bringing something up to it and so I think it's a really that starts a positive feedback loop where um, it helps develop your own personal vision. It helps you then get even better feedback and better response. You know, there is an element of, of try to do what you want to do. Um, but at least just starting out in professional practice, I might say, almost say the opposite. Not really, but I, I would say like be super open and be just absorb as much as you can from the place that you're in and, um, you know, give it however much time and you might look back on it later and say that was a toxic, you know, don't stand up for any like real nonsense, but chances are um, any successful firm is going to have a lot of people that you can learn a lot from. In both scenarios, a, a good balance of being open and absorbing and then recognizing what's important to you is.